Hi, welcome to another video. So, today I want to show you something that's actually pretty wild if you're into building apps with as little friction as possible. We're going to look at Zoer, which is this all-in-one AI-powered app builder. It's like Lovable, Supabase, and Netlify all rolled into one. But honestly, it takes automation to a whole new level. The real kicker is, you just describe what you want in plain English, and Zoer does the heavy lifting. Database, backend, frontend, deployment, everything. But the best part is, you can operate your app by chatting with it, and it even lets you sell your finished project right on their marketplace. That's kind of awesome. So, let's jump in, and I'll walk you through the whole process, pointing out the features as we go. First, come to the site through the link in the description, and you can start using it. For today's demo, let's try building a personal habit tracker. Something simple but useful, where users can log daily habits, check off tasks, and track their streaks. I think this is a perfect example to show off what Zoer can do. Right when you land on Zoer.ai, you're greeted with a prompt box. Here's where you type your idea. I'm going to write, Create a personal habit tracker where users can add daily habits, mark them as complete, and see their progress over time. Now, before I hit enter, notice there's an option to attach images or screenshots, up to five. This is actually super handy. Say you like the look of another app, or you've got a Figma mock-up, you just drop those images in, and Zoer will analyze them to match the style, layout, and color palette for your own app. It's not just about copying a vibe. It actually helps Zoer's AI generate a UI that's closer to what you want, which is really cool if you're not a designer. Now, with the prompt and attachments ready, you can hit the arrow button and Zoer gets to work. The first thing it does is ask you to configure your project's visibility and database options. So, for visibility, you can choose public or private. Public means anyone can discover and remix your app, and it can even show up in the Zoer marketplace. Private keeps it just for you, but heads up, private projects require a premium account. There are a ton of premium options that covers almost all types of users, starting from just $15, which is quite good. Next, database options. You've got three here. No database, which just uses your browser's local storage. Great for static sites or prototypes. Zoer database, which is a fully managed PostgreSQL database hosted by Zoer. So you don't have to touch any infrastructure at all. And soon, you'll be able to connect your own database if you want more control or already have something set up. For our habit tracker, I want it to be accessible from anywhere, so I'm picking Zoer Database. That way, users' habits and progress are stored securely and persistently. Once you've picked your settings, you click to continue, and Zoer starts generating the app. What's cool here is that Zoer actually builds the database and backend logic first, before it even sketches out the UI. So, for our habit tracker, it creates tables like users, habits, and habit entries, all handled for you, no manual setup. It is pretty snappy as well, and creates the database in a very small amount of time, which is pretty good. After the database part is done, it whips up a front end based on your prompt and any attached screenshots. You can preview the structure and see if it matches what you had in mind. Here, it makes something that is actually great and works very well without any major issues. If you want to tweak anything, say, you want a dark mode or you want to add a progress bar, you just type that into the Copilot chat on the side and Zoer will update the app instantly. For example, I'll type, add a weekly streak counter to each habit 
and it'll handle the back end and UI changes for me. No code, no hassle. Now, here's something that's pretty rare in no code tools. Zoer gives you full access to the generated code. You can open it up, review the back end and front end files, and if you're on a paid plan, you can download the entire code base as a zip file to run locally or integrate elsewhere. That's a big win for transparency and flexibility, especially if you want to go beyond what the UI offers. And of course, the Copilot is where things get really interesting. It's not just for building. You can actually operate your live app by chatting with it. So if you want to add a new habit, update existing entries, or even run some analytics, you just ask in plain English, and Copilot does the rest. It's very similar to what you get in tools like Manus or Minimax Agent, but here, it's baked right into the workflow and feels much more seamless. Once you're happy with your app, you can hit the Deploy button and get it deployed, which will give you a URL that you can then use to access the app 24 sevenths from anywhere, which is quite awesome, as you can take an idea to a working URL in seconds. Similarly, you can hit Publish and send it straight to the Zoer Marketplace. Set a price, and other users can buy, remix, or use your app. Zoer handles payments and tracks your sales right from the dashboard. That's honestly something I've wanted in app builders for ages. Going from idea to live, monetized product in a single flow. For building and deploying a real, full-stack app in minutes, it's insanely good. So, to wrap things up, Zoer is a fantastic option if you want to build, customize, and even sell full-stack apps without touching code or infrastructure. The attachments feature makes it easy to get the style you want. The database and visibility options are super flexible, and Copilot takes care of the heavy lifting. I really liked it, and I think it's perfect for both beginners and experienced devs who just want to move fast. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.